Disclaimer. The following story and its characters are entirely fictional and crafted for entertainment purposes only. The Vanishing Village, Mason's Mystery Tales. Chapter 1, The Mystery Unfolds. The small village of Clifton, nestled along the rugged and desolate Irish coast, was known for its picturesque beauty and an almost eerie solitude. Time seemed to stand still here, where the relentless waves of the Atlantic Ocean crashed against the towering cliffs, and the villagers lived simple, peaceful lives. But on an unassuming morning, as the sun cast its first rays across the tranquil waters, Clifton became the epicenter of a mystery that would baffle the world. Mason Sinclair, the seasoned detective with a reputation for unraveling challenging puzzles, was sipping his morning tea when a news report flashed on his television screen. The headline screamed in bold letters, Irish Coastal Village Vanishes Overnight. Mason's sharp, analytical eyes were fixed on the screen, his curiosity peaked. The report detailed the bizarre disappearance of Clifton, an entire village that had seemingly evaporated into thin air. There were no signs of struggle, no wreckage, and no trace of life left behind. Houses stood empty, windows wide open as if hastily abandoned, and the cobblestone streets echoed with an eerie silence. It was a mystery that defied explanation and left authorities baffled. Mason knew he had to investigate this peculiar mystery, but before he could even contemplate his next move, a knock at the door interrupted his thoughts. Emma, his astute assistant, stood in the doorway, holding an envelope with an unfamiliar seal. Mason, you won't believe this, she said, her eyes wide with astonishment. We've received a letter, and it's addressed to both of us. Mason took the envelope from her, noting the seal's insignia, an ancient Celtic knot, intricately woven. The letter within was brief, its message cryptic. To Mason Sinclair and Emma. The answers you seek lie within the vanishing village of Clifton. Meet us there. Yours in curiosity. Anonymous. It was a summons, and Mason knew he couldn't ignore it. The very essence of his being was drawn to mysteries that defied logic, and the disappearance of Clifton promised to be the most perplexing puzzle of all. With determination in his eyes, he turned to Emma and said, Pack your bags, Emma. We're heading to Clifton to uncover the truth behind this baffling disappearance. As they left their cozy Providence office behind and embarked on a journey into the heart of the mystery, they had no idea that Clifton's secrets would challenge their understanding of reality itself. Chapter 2, Journey to Clifton The journey to Clifton was a meandering path through the lush Irish countryside, where rolling hills and emerald fields stretched as far as the eye could see. The route took Mason and Emma farther from the bustling city of Dublin and deeper into the heart of the remote coastal region. As their car wound its way along narrow roads that seemed almost untouched by modernization, Mason couldn't help but admire the raw beauty of the Irish landscape. Emma, on the other hand, felt a sense of unease growing within her, knowing that they were driving towards a mystery that defied all rational explanation. Hours passed, and the sun dipped lower in the sky casting long shadows across the narrow lanes. Finally, they reached the outskirts of Clifton. The transition from the verdant countryside to the desolate coastal village was stark. They parked the car a short distance from the village and approached on foot. What greeted them was a scene that could only be described as haunting. Clifton lay before them, frozen in time. The cobblestone streets remained eerily deserted as if the villagers had vanished in the middle of their daily routines. Houses stood with doors ajar, curtains billowing in the gentle breeze, and shop windows displayed their wares to an empty street. Emma shivered, her voice barely above a whisper. It's like stepping into a ghost town, Mason. Mason nodded, his eyes scanning the abandoned village. We need to start by speaking to anyone who might still be here, he said, glancing around for any signs of life. They ventured deeper into the village, their footsteps echoing on the cobblestones. Eventually, they came across an old man sitting on a dilapidated wooden bench, staring blankly into the distance. He seemed to be the only person in sight. Approaching cautiously, Mason introduced himself. I'm Mason Sinclair, and this is my assistant, Emma. We're here to find out what happened to Clifton. Can you help us? 
the old man turned his gaze towards them, his eyes clouded with a mixture of confusion and fear. They're gone, he muttered in a raspy voice. All of them. One night, they just disappeared. Mason exchanged a glance with Emma. It was clear that this man was not alone in his experience. Clifton's vanishing act had affected everyone in the village, leaving behind a sense of unease and mystery that clung to the very air they breathed. Their investigation had only just begun, and the answers they sought seemed as elusive as the vanished villagers themselves. Chapter 3, Unearthly Encounters As Mason and Emma continued their exploration of the deserted village of Clifton, they encountered the few remaining locals, who were as baffling as the place itself. These villagers, while eccentric and wary of outsiders, held the keys to unlocking the mysteries that shrouded Clifton. Their first encounter was with a woman known as Orlith, a weathered soul with a wild mane of silver hair and piercing green eyes. She welcomed them with a cautious nod, her words veiled in an air of mystery. Ye be them outsiders looking for answers, eh? She muttered, her voice as haunting as the landscape. Well, Clifton's secrets run deep, they do. Mason and Emma listened intently as Orlith spoke of ancient Celtic rituals, superstitions, and legends that had persisted in the village for generations. They learned about the lost lullaby, a haunting melody sung by mothers to their children to ward off evil spirits, and the Wraith Walk, a mystical procession said to guide souls to the afterlife. The villagers seemed to walk a fine line between reality and the supernatural, their beliefs deeply intertwined with the land and the sea. Mason couldn't help but wonder if these rituals and superstitions had any connection to the inexplicable disappearance of the villagers. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the village, bizarre phenomena began to manifest. Strange lights flickered in the distance, their ethereal glow dancing along the cliffs. Unexplained sounds echoed through the empty streets, like whispers carried on the wind. Emma's curiosity got the best of her as she approached a gathering of villagers by a weathered stone circle. They stood in hushed reverence, their eyes fixed on the horizon. What's happening here? She whispered to Mason. Mason shook his head, equally intrigued. Let's find out. They joined the villagers at the stone circle and watched in awe as the ancient stones seemed to come alive with an otherworldly glow. The villagers spoke of a night of illumination, a celestial event that had occurred ever since their ancestors settled in Clifton. It was said to be a sign of the village's connection to the mystical forces of the sea. As the night deepened and the lights faded, Mason and Emma couldn't shake the feeling that Clifton held more secrets than they could imagine. The villagers' beliefs and the eerie phenomena they had witnessed only added to the mystique of the place. With every encounter and revelation, the enigma of Clifton grew, challenging their understanding of reality and leading them further into a world where ancient traditions and the supernatural blurred the lines between truth and legend. Chapter 4, The Conspiracies Unveiled As Mason and Emma delved deeper into the mysteries of Clifton, they began to unravel a complex web of conspiracies that stretched back centuries. It was a labyrinthine riddle where ancient traditions and modern intrigue intersected in bewildering ways. Their investigation led them to a series of hidden chambers beneath the village, concealed behind centuries-old stone walls. These chambers were filled with dusty tomes, cryptic scrolls, and enigmatic artifacts, a treasure trove of knowledge preserved by generations of villagers. One particular scroll caught Mason's attention. It spoke of a secret society known as Adora Aaron, the Keepers of Irish Nature. This society, it seemed, had operated in the shadows for centuries, guarding ancient Celtic wisdom and mystical relics of immense power. Emma translated passages that hinted at Clifton's unique connection to this society. It was said that the village had been chosen as the guardian of an ancient relic, an intricately carved stone known as the Celtic Heartstone. Legend held that this stone possessed the power to control the elements and was sought after by those who craved its dominion. The disappearance of Clifton, Mason realized, may have been tied to the society's efforts to protect the Celtic Heartstone from those who would misuse its power. But the question remained, where had the village gone? Had it been hidden away by the society to safeguard the relic? 
further investigation led them to a chamber adorned with ancient symbols and a mural depicting a ritual that bore a striking resemblance to the night of illumination they had witnessed. It was clear that the society's influence extended far beyond Clifton, touching upon the very forces of nature itself. Mason and Emma knew they were treading on dangerous ground. The secrecy surrounding the Celtic hearthstone and the keepers of Irish nature had created an intricate tapestry of intrigue and danger. It was a puzzle that they were determined to solve, for the sake of Clifton and the truth. The disappearance of the village, the hidden chambers, and the ancient relic had become threads woven into a grand conspiracy that would challenge the very fabric of reality. With every revelation, Mason and Emma moved closer to uncovering the riddle that had consumed Clifton for centuries. Chapter 5. Challenging Reality As Mason and Emma continued their relentless pursuit of the truth in Clifton, they found themselves increasingly immersed in a world where the boundaries between reality and folklore blurred, challenging their understanding of the world. The days turned into weeks as they scoured ancient manuscripts, questioned the remaining villagers, and explored the hidden chambers beneath the village. With each discovery, they felt the weight of centuries-old secrets pressing down on them, like the cliffs that loomed above the desolate village. Mason, who had always prided himself on his unwavering rationality, began to confront his doubts and fears. The inexplicable phenomena they had witnessed, the eerie lights, the unexplained sounds, and the ancient rituals, pushed the boundaries of his logical mind. He found himself questioning whether the mystical forces at play could truly exist. Emma, with her analytical mind and scientific background, grappled with her doubts. She had always sought logical explanations for the mysteries they encountered, but Clifton was a place where science seemed to falter in the face of ancient traditions and supernatural occurrences. One evening, as they sat in the dimly lit chamber beneath the village, illuminated only by the soft glow of candlelight, Mason voiced his uncertainty. Emma, I can't shake the feeling that we're tiptoeing on the edge of the impossible here. The legends, the rituals, the Celtic heartstone, how can all of this be real? Emma sighed, her brow furrowed with contemplation. I know what you mean, Mason. My scientific mind rebels against the inexplicable, but I can't deny what we've seen and experienced. Clifton seems to defy the laws of nature, and the supernatural feels almost tangible. Their conversation was interrupted by a soft, melodic hum that filled the chamber, a haunting lullaby that echoed through the stone walls. They turned to see Orlith, the village elder, standing in the doorway. Her eyes held an ancient wisdom, and she spoke with reverence, ye be questioning the boundaries of your reality, I see. In Clifton, reality and folklore are but two sides of the same coin. Emma exchanged a glance with Mason, realizing that they were on the verge of a revelation that could shake their understanding of the world to its core. The shocking revelation they sought lay on the horizon, a truth that would challenge their beliefs and reshape their perception of reality. Clifton was a place where the supernatural and the ordinary intertwined, where ancient legends and modern intrigue coexisted, and as they delved deeper into the village's confusing secrets, they were about to confront a truth that defied explanation. Chapter 6, A Race Against Time As Mason and Emma delved further into the conundrum of Clifton, the urgency of their mission became increasingly apparent. The fate of the village, its residents, and perhaps even the world itself hung precariously in the balance. It was a race against time to decipher cryptic messages, follow ancient rituals, and prevent a catastrophic event tied to the village's disappearance. The cryptic scrolls and manuscripts they had uncovered hinted at an imminent celestial alignment, an event that, if not managed correctly, could unleash unimaginable forces. The fate of Clifton was intertwined with this celestial occurrence, and the consequences of failure were dire. The villagers, wary but cooperative, provided Mason and Emma with guidance on the rituals that needed to be performed to avert disaster. They learned of the harmony of tides, an intricate dance that involved precise movements and chanting in ancient Gaelic. The purpose of this ritual was to ensure that the celestial energies would flow in harmony with the land and the sea. Mason and Emma practiced tirelessly, their steps echoing through the moonlit village as they mastered the ancient dance. 
they could feel the weight of generations watching them, their hopes and fears resting on their shoulders. As the day of the celestial alignment approached, the tension in Clifton grew palpable. Villagers gathered in a circle around Mason and Emma, their voices raised in song, their movements synchronized with the rhythms of the earth. The world seemed to hold its breath as the celestial bodies aligned with unprecedented precision. With every step of the dance, every whisper Gaelic word, the village's fate hung in the balance. The ancient rituals and cryptic messages had brought them to this pivotal moment, a moment where the supernatural and the ordinary collided. As the final notes of the ancient melody echoed through the cliffs, the celestial alignment passed without incident. The villagers erupted in joy, their relief evident as they embraced Mason and Emma. The catastrophe had been averted, and Clifton's future was secured. The village, it seemed, had returned from its hidden state, its residents emerging from the shadows, their lives unaltered by the event. Mason and Emma had played their part in a timeless tradition that had safeguarded Clifton for centuries. As they stood amidst the jubilant villagers, Mason and Emma exchanged a glance, knowing that they had not only unraveled the mysteries of Clifton but had also played a crucial role in preserving its future. The ancient conspiracy had been thwarted, and the boundaries between folklore and reality had been blurred beyond repair. Their journey was far from over, and the lessons they had learned in Clifton would continue to challenge their perceptions of the world. As the village returned to its quiet, isolated existence, Mason and Emma couldn't help but wonder what other mysteries awaited them in their pursuit of truth and question. Chapter 7, The Ultimate Showdown with the celestial alignment successfully averted, Clifton had returned to its serene, untouched state, and its residents rejoiced in their newfound safety. Yet, one piece of the puzzle remained, the identity of the mastermind behind the village's vanishing act and the reason behind their actions. Mason and Emma had been piecing together the intricate web of the conspiracy, but the time had come to confront the puppeteer who had orchestrated the enigma of Clifton. Their investigation led them to a remote chamber deep beneath the village, a chamber adorned with ancient artifacts and symbols. As they entered, they were met with an unexpected sight. A figure stood in the center of the chamber, shrouded in a hooded cloak, their identity concealed. The figure's voice resonated through the chamber, filled with a strange blend of authority and desperation. You have uncovered our secrets, Mason Sinclair and Emma. But do you truly understand the power at play here? Mason and Emma exchanged a determined glance. We understand that your actions put an entire village at risk, Mason replied, his voice unwavering. Explain your motives. The figure stepped into the dim light, revealing themselves to be an elderly woman with eyes that gleamed with an eerie intensity. For centuries, we, the keepers of Irish nature, have protected the Celtic heartstone, a relic of immense power. It was not for selfish gain but to safeguard it from those who would misuse its abilities. She went on to explain that a faction within the society had believed that the village of Clifton was no longer a suitable guardian for the Hearthstone, fearing that the world's increasing interest in the village would lead to its discovery. They believed that by making Clifton vanish, they could protect the Hearthstone from those who sought to exploit its power. Mason and Emma listened carefully torn between understanding society's intentions and condemning their actions. But the revelation that followed shook them to their core. The elderly woman explained that the disappearance of Clifton had been a test, a test of the villagers' belief in the ancient rituals and the power of the Celtic Heartstone. If the villagers had failed to perform the Harmony of Tides correctly, Clifton would have been lost forever, and the Heartstone would have remained hidden. It had been a desperate gambit, one that had risked the lives of an entire village for the sake of an ancient relic. Mason and Emma's confrontation with the mastermind had come to a tense conclusion. They had unraveled the truth behind Clifton's disappearance, but it had come at a great cost, their faith in the keepers of Irish nature shattered, and the knowledge that they had been mere pawns in a dangerous game. As they left the chamber, the elderly woman watched them with a mixture of regret and resignation. The village of Clifton had been saved but the wounds of betrayal and deception ran deep. The ultimate showdown revealed the complex interplay of ancient artifacts, rituals, and the power of belief, leaving Mason and Emma with a profound sense of the mystifying forces that govern their world. 
Chapter 8, A Haunting Legacy With the confrontation in the chamber beneath Clifton behind them, Mason and Emma found themselves standing amidst the villagers who had played a pivotal role in the village's restoration. The ancient conspiracy had been unraveled, and the enigma of Clifton had been resolved, but the scars of the supernatural ordeal ran deep. As the villagers celebrated their triumph over darkness, Mason and Emma couldn't help but feel a sense of melancholy. The lessons they had learned during their investigation were profound, and the impact of those lessons would remain with them forever. The village of Clifton was physically restored, its cobblestone streets bustling once more, its residents going about their daily lives. Yet, it would forever bear the haunting legacy of its vanishing act, an event that had tested the villagers' belief in ancient traditions and had forced them to confront the boundaries of reality and folklore. Mason and Emma, forever changed by the mysteries they had uncovered, stood on the cliffs overlooking the village. The sound of the waves crashing against the rugged coast filled the air, a reminder of the timeless forces that had shaped Clifton. This place will never be the same, Emma whispered, her voice tinged with sadness. Mason nodded, his gaze fixed on the village below. No, it won't. But perhaps that's the price of unraveling the problems of the world. We must confront the mysteries that challenge our understanding, even if they come at great cost. As they left Clifton behind, Mason and Emma carried with them the knowledge that their pursuit of truth and enigma would lead them to places where reality and folklore intersected, where the supernatural and the ordinary coexisted, and where the boundaries of belief were pushed to their limits. Their journey was far from over, and the legacy of Clifton would forever remind them that the mysteries of the world were both captivating and haunting, and that the pursuit of truth often led to unexpected and transformative revelations. Enjoyed Mason's crime-solving journey through the heart of mysteries? Don't miss out on future captivating tales. Hit that subscribe button and join us on Mason's Mystery Tales for more thrilling adventures into the enigmatic realm of crime, secrets, and suspense. Stay tuned for upcoming stories that will keep you hooked and craving for more. Subscribe now and be a part of our detective community as we unravel the intriguing narratives that lie just beneath the surface. Your next suspenseful adventure awaits, don't miss it.